Can I? You may. Oh, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Perseverance Maremeni, also known as Madam Speaker, also known as the CEO of Self Love. Welcome to Losing in Love, Season 2, Episode 1. Today, we're talking about your swindler experience. What have you been scammed or how much have you been scammed by a guy in the name of love? If you were here um, last week, I shared a story about uh, the shortest relationship that I've ever had, which was with a guy who scammed me. Okay, at least for me, I didn't get away with a lot of money. It was just 250 a Louis Vuitton guy who seems to have it all figured out, who's driving an SUV, but all of a sudden he wants airtime, all of a sudden he doesn't have money for petrol, all of a sudden Nando's is expensive. So, so many red flags happened. So, and to a point where I had to just see through him to say, this one is a scam, it's a swindler. So here today, we are here to share our swindler experience to say what happened, who scammed you. Some stories might be painful, some may be funny, but we're here for all of that. We're here to share, we're here to learn, we're here to take note, to be alert, and also to give advice where we can. So yeah, let's do this thing. Um, You can continue, my sister. Hello. Hi. Yes, I can hear you. Are you using headsets? No, no, no. You're not? It's a headset, yes. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, you may you may so continue. I can, I can change and use headset if the network problem. I beg your pardon? I say I can use headset, change to headset if... No, the only thing that I was, that was a, a thing for me was that your, vo your voice was too low. The volume was not high enough. So maybe you might just need to raise your voice a little bit. Just a bit, not too much. Is it fine now? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you proper. Thank you. Better. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, in the name of love. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah, where do I even start? From the beginning. I'm glad, to, I'm, I'm not, I'm glad to be on your life, my favorite person, President. Ah, thank you um, so much. I'm so humbled, my sister. Hey, you know this guy there? Yeah, he was like, B. he treated me like a person that I've not been treated. Mm. From the eye, the, the person is paving the way, which is like, it's like, Ish. you know, I need that, I need to, they call me, take the boss. Mm. Mm? Driving big cars. Yeah, uh, impressing you, you like, I found the one. You know, I need 150, I just need to upload this document and go and submit it. Can you please, how? Okay, you live in St. June. The quotation, mm. and then you're like, and then, but I go to a point of like, oh, this person every time that he wants, I'm trying to say, I'm assisting the name of love. It's mm. the person. Then you go to a point that I ask him, oh, but my guy, you forever send me calls, but you never send me an invoice to say I receive payments. Sure. In more than one occasions, but how come? How so? Mm. Then he's like, like he was like agitated. I know you become to be naked. I said, no, no, no. I was just saying, you forever say. Here's a quotation. You're able to send me a quotation to say here's the code, but then the invoice you never sent, or is there someone who's receiving the invoice? I'm only receiving the quotations mm. to say I've been paid. Ah, finally, uh, we broke up. Because then he saw that uh, this person is alerted. Oh, because he saw you were too smart now. You yeah, you were you were asking too, too many questions. Person. Now she's asking too much, too many questions. Mm. And, and 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 the thing with these people now especially bonaba it's, it's the tender gang mm -hmm. the people who are doing tenders you know people who have visions who have big yeah, ideas of i'm telling you know where they stay but, but like, i'm staying in woodlands i'm staying well, in the sober lane and then they come my friend you should have asked me i let me describe them for you my friend mm -hmm. smell the cologne yeah driving big cars that they can't even maintain the petrol mm. and then they'll forever tell you about the quotation that they have to go submit mm. now they're forever awaiting payments <laughs> and i wanna wanna because you, you you have so much faith in this person you are thinking to yourself yo we're gonna hit the jackpot very soon i'll be living the soft life and then let me tell you something ne? usually when they do hit the jackpot they don't even look at you when you were just a step a stepping ladder you're a stepping stone when they you are not yeah, a stepping ladder mm -hmm. so, you know, Exactly. Then mm. I broke up. Okay, girl, you broke up. Fine. How? But you still called me and say, I need, you know what, please, uh, I need to go to Bumalanga. Um, I need to go submit. Can you please uh, borrow me? I said, my guy, hey. you to pay me. This man bet you. No, no. Then now I'm mad. I said, my guy, how much do you want? If you say money, how much are you talking about? 500 rent. Okay, how much? When are you going to pay it? That's now. When are you going to pay it? I'm 
Ah, the tender boys will tenderize you, Sam. Mm. And then when they get a tender, nyana, they will give you woma, woma 15k, 20k, and then you must know you will pay it back bit by bit. They give you money, ne? then they come and borrow money from you. 200, 200, yeah. until they finish that money. Then from there, it's game yeah. on. It's your money wire wire. Remember, I once gave you money when I had it. I don't have it now. From there, it's your middle. Exactly, exactly, exactly. She asked for 500, bring it back at 750. Come and ask for 800, bring it, you understand? Yeah. I was like, ah, that's game. Ah. Then it has to end. You know, I'm, I, I won't say yes, I, I regret big time, but I'm like, ah, it's part of life. Yeah. And I, I was not scammed millions like other people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That for, for other people, the story is really, really bad. It's really, really sad. People lost a lot, you know. People lost a lot. But um, yeah, thank you so much for sharing your story. I think we'll move to our next guest. Hi, guest. A lot, a lot. Yeah. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Hi. I'm good. I'm I'm also so, good. Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm 22 years old. Mm -hmm. But I, I would, yeah, I would like to share my story as well. Mm. So I met a guy when I was doing my first year, uh, I was 19 by the time. Mm. And then, yeah, the guy looked good, like his presentation, uh, his clothing, like the brand and stuff. Mm. Yeah, he looked very good. We met, yeah, we met at the taxi. Mm. And then, yeah, and then um, uh, I realized that, no, man, this guy, uh, my dad is a teacher, so I think he, he's targeting those girls with, with like, parents who are working, like, well, miss mine. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so, yeah, I was doing my first year, I, I received NS first and a little bit of allowance from my dad. Mm. And then, when I got deep, deep, I realized that no man, this guy doesn't have money, even for 10 minutes a time. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, so I, I really love the guy. He would ask me for, for money, like when I used to, when I used to visit his, him uh, at his place, um, he would request for like 500 friends. Imagine, monthly, 500 friends ah. money from, from me, yes, from me a student. Hi, Bo. And yet we, ha we hear stories every day of how, how we as women, we always want money from men. Which men? Can you guys show me the men which have money? Because, Mina, so far, hey, it's bad. Men don't have money, guys. Where, is, where are they, these men who have money, Kanti? Actually, I realized that, no, he's still, he's still a guy, man. He's, he's a boy, not a man, actually. Mm. I, used, I used to give him a lot of money, yeah, like 500 friends monthly. And then um, he started a new a new thing where he would, he would ask for a time. Ha! Huh. On top of the money you are baiting him with. Yes. Yes. Ah! God forbid. Hi, Bo. No, no, we are not even judging you, my sister. We've done worse. I've lost everything. Like, listen, I came out of a divorce with nothing. So you are better than me. You know, I'm not, I'm the last person to judge, you know. So, but yeah, it, 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 it's, it's, it's the things that people never talk about because everybody is, is ashamed of. You, you know why um, in a lot of cases people get away with, with this type of setup? Because I think there's an illusion that men are the ones who are providing men. You will hear them, yo, women want money, yo, women want this. But in essence, you find that the woman is actually the one who is doing everything. Low key, you give this man your card to swipe in the shops and then, wow, nice, nice. So because it's, it's an embarrassing thing for, both, for the both of you to know that the money is actually coming from you as a woman. That's why it's never a public thing. We will hear them talking about, hey, men, women want money, women want money. Guys, ever, I'm, I'm still waiting even today. I'm still waiting. Ever since I, from high school, the only person who's been providing for me is my dad. From my dad's pay sleep, my own pay sleep, until today, I have never been given chunks of money by a guy. Can't you? What's 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 going on? Where is the money? Am I not walking in the right paths? Hi. But anyway, I'm so glad you are out of that yeah. situation, my yeah. sister. I'm really happy for you. Hey. All is not lost. There's a vendor saying that man, the Yeah, and I would like to advise other uh, like, but it is not like, don't give a point. That boy showed me flames. 
Ne? Anyway, thank you. I'm so glad you are here to tell the story and you are fine and you are okay and you are over it. You will be fine, okay? Thank you so much, my sis. All right, sharp. Okay, we are moving on to the next one, guys. My site is bad. I want to come closer to the screen to see who's next, but the one who doesn't have a profile picture. You without a prom fam pic, can you talk to us, please? Hello? Okay, can we move on to the one who has a prom fam pic? Hi. Hi, sis. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm so far. I can't see what's going on there, so I can't even read out your name. So maybe you can no, just I introduce understand. yourself. I also can't see you, so I get your predicament. I have the same challenges. Sure. Especially when I don't have my glasses on. Sure. So ah, I just came across your live now, and I found it very interesting. Hey, things are hectic this there's side, my sister. Hey, there's a lot going on. <laughs> I'm telling you. For us as women, you yeah. Know, but we must we must cover up for them and give them money and pretend as if it's their money we must we must pay for vacation and act as if it's a hymns and ham see they contributed that time they didn't even pop out a cent they're just coming with a bag and because we're doing it in private it's a norm Yeah. Me personally, I'm not gonna lie, I've never been swindled personally mm. from my but I've I've been around women that were swindled. Mm. Right. And yeah, boo, I feel it hits you later on when you realize for no, it's actually possible for men to use women for money. Mm. And how you know, when you talk to people they judge you, it's like we see ma money. So you wanna keep it to yourself. We yeah. need to have these kind of discussions. So it's nice when we created a platform where women can actually say, no, it's fine. I was swindled. I learned from my mistakes. I learned, took lessons from it. Let me move on. Because yeah. like, society will shame you. Sure. You hear women that say, no. Society will shame you for a lot of things as a woman. You will drive your car. Mm. Yes. You will drive your car. You will drive your car. He has a side check eating your groceries, you'll pay his rent because you're trying to cover him. You try this whole black woman narrative Yo, strong, strong, strong woman. woman. You will cover his back and then he will be there like, yeah, you know what? You know what? We owe these black oh. men support. Where does this notion of who we owe these black men support who mm. supports us as black women? Mm. Yeah, non same tattoo are there by YouTube. People are going through their lot, hey. We're carrying our kids, we're carrying the finances. We're carrying the job challenges now. We must carry men. I'm Great telling men. you. I'm telling you. And they're not ashamed, Shem. They're not even ashamed about it. Like, uh, yeah, when is your payday? When is your payday? Oh, it's a memo. In regular time, a full tank. Ha, oh, guy, my guy. Isn't that a taboo for him? Where's your pride? Hey, head of the house. Where's your pride as a man if you can just utter words like that? Ha. Huh. You know that guy? You know that guy that wanted to swindle me? You know, you know the guy that wanted to swindle me next, straight up, he said, yeah, today we're going to eat ESCOM money. I'm like, not here, yes. not on this planet Earth. You will eat ESCOM money the day you sign an ESCOM contract. Not my man. Never. 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 <laughs> Yo. Anyway, thank you so much. He wasn't playing. Yeah? He's not playing. No, he was not playing. And I saw that he was not he playing because, yeah. Yeah, I never take such jokes as jokes. You know, I once broke up with a guy because every day would be like, you can't even give me 200. You can't even, how oh, baby, mbechenya. I'm like, boots, pakalo boots. I'm like, you know what? When I think about the 200 you ask, I get turned off. So please, 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 it's over. It's over. It's not you, it's me. It's not you, it's me. Hi, I can't deal. Thank you so much, my sister. Now let's take the next one and hear um, what they have to share with us. Who do we have now? Who do we have? Because I don't want to butcher people's name. We have Demetro. Hi, Demetro. Demetro, uh, thank you for accepting me. You are more than welcome, my brother. Everybody's welcome here. How are you doing? Very well, thanks. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. You want to share a swindler story with us? I beg your pardon? You've been waiting for so long. So long. Um, no, I followed you for so long. Oh, you followed me for so long. For so long. I want to stop with the 
Ah, te... You are breaking a lot. You are breaking. I'm just picking pieces and bits of what you are saying. I don't know whether it's the network on your side. Maybe you can just move around a little bit. Oh, thank you so much, my brother. I'm really, really humbled. I appreciate um, your good words. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, he's really, really breaking there. He's breaking a lot, but I really appreciate your compliments, the Metro, my guy. Thank you so much. Uh, Marilyn, Marilyn, you next. I found a strategy, guys, to read out people's names. I'm good. Thanks. How are you, my love? Yes. Well, I've been a victim and I feel I'm still a victim. Yes, sir. So, just a brief story. Okay. Everything that you um, said on your, there's a post when you're talking about gold diggers. Mm -hmm. Everything I've experienced. It starts with the airtime, um, jiggy jigging regular data, and then all of a sudden he wanted school fees for his son. And I was in love. Yeah. I did all of that. And then he doesn't have money for petrol. I did all of that. How? I hit a jackpot here. Mm. And Salobol. A year later, I mm. had the most beautiful wedding ever. Mm. And before I knew it, I was deep in debt. Phew. Very deep in debt. In such a way that um, even during the marriage, he then disposed of all his assets, mm. everything. He quit his job, ate his pension. Now he comes back and says, no, actually, I'm not done. Huh. I want your pension. Huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been, when we're talking about a swindler, I know exactly what you're talking about. And he's not ashamed. That's the thing with them. They're never ashamed. No, he's not ashamed. Mm -mm. He's the thing, man. Because um, I know this is not about a divorce, but I just want um, sure, sure, to sure. highlight something quickly. Uh, so last week we meet my attorney, his attorney, we sit down, they say, okay, you saying you want her money. What did you do with her money? You know, he looked me straight in the eye and he lied and said, she's the one that told me to quit my job and gave me a business idea. So now that I don't have a job, he's divorcing me. So I want her money. I was like, what? Who did I get married to? Like, till today, yeah. I'm still in shock. Like, I walk around asking myself, what? Like, I've been doing so many years. Oh, 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 my sister. You the black thing at the charger. The black thing at the charger, you are talking over the, the live. Okay, you can continue. I just muted her there. Oh, okay. So, yeah. What, what shocked me is the fact that he had no shame to even lie that I'm the one that said this. It's, it's, I felt that he could do anything to get the money. Mm. Like, um, what, what you're saying now that uh, there's a guy that said, um, I want the ESCOM money. So with me, um, I remember when I was introduced to the family and then they asked, where do you work? Mm. I said, no, I work for Transnet. And then they were like, oh, yeah. Okay. Money gang, money gang. <laughs> They're like our, our rich Makoti, our rich squeezer. They're gonna eat your money. All of you expect money from you now. Yeah, I think that's when they said, Aha, our son finally hit the jackpot. Wow, so, yeah, that's the story of my life currently. So, is the divorce finalized or are you still busy with the process? I'm still busy with the process. It's, it's a very stressful one. Um, at this point in time, I'm even changing the attorney because I realized that my one is a yes ma'am, yes ma'am. She's just agreeing to everything. So I'm yeah. right now looking for another attorney. Aish, you know what? Um, oh, I can imagine, Shem. I can imagine what's going on there. Um, 
yeah, hopefully everything will be sorted out i just followed you back now so that at least i think i'll just send me a, a dm guys the thing is immediately after the live now i found i get bombarded with dms that i can't even find the dm that i'm looking for i don't even know how i'm going to sort this one out i don't know how i'm gonna sort this one out because yeah um but also one thing that i would like you to just side note now, remember lawyers are colleagues i know this is not about divorce but lawyers yeah. are colleagues so for them they are colleagues they're not fighting so so don't think that because when your husband you're fighting and 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 you're trying to get this divorce then bona they must fight at the end of the day all they want is just that transition finish it everybody gets their things and then they're done so yeah i, I really really recommend that divorce should be backed up with um therapy therapy if you have not been attending it i, su I suggest that you start so that when you conclude everything yeah, you'll be like, you'll be like sane you'll be sane no definitely trust me if you don't if you don't do therapy now i know i know a lot of people that immediately after divorce they went straight to the psychiatric ward you will think it's not doing anything to you it's gonna eat you up on the inside so now immediately when i when i filed i filed and i i started attending therapy weekly twice a week sometimes mm -hmm. yeah so i really recommend that you do that i was then diagnosed with depression mm. last year and then i tried to because I didn't like what it did to me taking the treatment. It just made yeah. me isolate myself mm. so much from people. I said, no, let me go to the gym, find something to distract me and be off the pills. So mm. yeah, I'll definitely go for that. Yeah, please do Thank that you. as well. I wish you all the best, okay, my love? Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You're most welcome, honey. Okay, up next we have Opelong. I forgot to Valelisa some people. Ah, uh, who are we with now? Who is up next? Yes, guys, me a Joel. Like, do you th you people think I don't Joel? I'm Joeling. Okay. Who do we have next? We have Opelong. Opelong Talo. Good evening. How are you doing, my love? I'm great, and you? I'm also good. You don't know that you are an inspiration to some of us. Ah. Uh. You've made us realize that you know what. This thing called life, one has to walk it with confidence and pride and learn from the mistakes that we acquired throughout. I'm going to also share my story, which is short. Uh, being a woman and being at the age of from 35 to 40, I think the majority of us have been victims. Yeah. But one thing that you must take from that is to learn from it. I met this guy over a restaurant uh, lunch date where I was assembled with some of my cousins. And therefore, we spoke with church numbers and, be and it became a relationship. God, so this guy, when we started, he was all right, clicked all the uh, dots and onto my checklist. Little did I knew that he was also looking into me, cowing me as much as he can two weeks i think down the relationship this guy sent me a whatsapp one night um of a woman crying and then he said that it's my sister uh, we've lost my dad i'm like oh wow condolences from your family uh -oh. cut the story short tomorrow after the whatsapp this guy phones me and said you know what i've parked my car on the wrong side i don't have cash with me now they want to take my car Metro is here, please help me out. I'm like, how much do they need? He's like, 2.5. You know, uh, I just transferred the 2.5. You know, when I did my calculation working away from that relationship, I've realized I've lost more than 30K. Mm. That goes out as in 500, 1,000. Yo. 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 Within the period of the parents passed on, mm. he from Limpopo. Then one time he said to me, hey, I'm going to Pulukwan and all that. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, hey, men are so intelligent. He phones me, he gathers some guys, they were in a meeting and they were short of cash and things were not adding up and he's like, you know, uh, I'm phoning you because I'm with my uncles and all that. You know, women, the way we like sense of belonging. Yes. Uh, I'm with my uncle and all that. Um, I've told them about us, and now I've mm. briefed them regarding this problem, and I, I'm telling them that I'm going to ask you for a huge favor. We are battling uh, my father now. He's at another mutuary. We hire a mutuary. We have to make funds and all that. I took all my savings, and you know, when they want money, you only let, realize once they are out of your life. When they want money, it's like... 
you know when you said that chat that you know i want to do this i've got savings i'm doing this every month and all that when are they calculating or okay this is how much she has now this is how much we have now i'll come and cash out when i'm ready sisters they're calculating Mina, wow I invested while i was very young into property so i own a few properties so i get rent from those rentals of the properties so dude when i think about it now the time of the funeral was in a month and a week and you can imagine he was asking me for money that he knew that i had yes and obviously because he knows that you have it you can't say no i can't say no and humanity within us our fans and and also that thought that you know whatever that he's doing he's doing it for you guys you know it's for us baby it's for us exactly the, the fact that it's a funeral and you also mm. want to say you know what uh, this is a sensitive thing let me yeah. help you, you yeah. understand yeah <laughs> that guy would say to me that um because you are into property the same this the place that I'm it was renting an apartment the place that I'm staying at it's really small uh, I think he had uh, financial issues there. They were gonna kick him out, so he took me to this place, whereby you can just build, uh, you can just buy a stand and build your own house, <laughs> standalone house. I went there with that guy. Uh, we we saw the people, the agent that was selling that place. Of, have you ever dreamt there's a woman that we are going to build? This is us. This is what we're going to do. Joe, ladies, our friend Mojola, Mojola, the pandemic Yo. will kill us. Jolo will make us go to hospital unnecessary so because of somebody else. You know, this guy, if you go to all social networks, whether it's Tinder, whether it's Purdue, whether it's TikTok, he's trending everywhere. Ha! Every week. Name, name, drop the name. We want to go find him. A new lady's place. Hmm. He, he likes social network. He takes pictures like nobody's business. Like, dude. And then I've realized that this one is a hungry, milky lion. He will milk all these women because, honestly, he looks good. Secondly, yeah, he does wonders in the bedroom. Yay! Yeah. Uh, the bedroom is the problem. The bedroom is the problem. You will say yes to everything. Hey! <laughs> Kantimara, why, why, why is it? Why is it that people who are good in the bedroom are lazy to work with their hands? What's the problem? Why do you say these things don't go hand in hand? Yeah? That guy will open a laptop, you will see that he's an architect, he's got businesses. People will fall, you know, uh, this truck is stuck to this and that. You know how much is that, 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 that tire for that truck? Do you know how much it costs? You guys, I must just fire you, this and that. You think he's a serious businessman. It's like when he's with you, he'll just receive those calls that, you know what, they make him angry. He's a serious businessman. Mm. Uh, mm. Baby, are you cooking? Yes. No, man, don't cook. Let's go out and eat. Like, he, he, he's a spender, but when you look at it, he's a small spender, milking you as a bigger spender without you realizing. He has mastered his swindler tendencies. That guy is the swindler of all times. That guy. I'm telling you, coming to your workplace with flowers, you know, ah. there's first women living for people and saying, you know, hey, this is a great guy. This and, hey, guys, you know, I, I mean, I'm wondering, are you ladies, please? Let us run away. Let us run away. Yo, guys, it starts with the airtime, guys. It starts with it's run away from the airtime, ne? Just airtime, you run. Yo, my sister. Mar, how are you doing now? Yo, now I'm good. I'm You're good. good. That's true. You you learn from you learn from your wound, from your scar, you know. You learn from your scars. It's the 
and also i think i think a platform like this where we are making other people aware is very good for it's good it's good for it's not everybody who has to suffer the same thing that every single one of us has suffered some people will dodge the bullet because they they choose to pay attention and learn from others no there are others will catch up on youtube maybe a year later they will google how to spot a swindler and then they will find this video and then they will succeed otherwise it's hectic but anyway i really appreciate you sharing your story with us my sister thank you so much and i'm ho i'm happy that you are okay now you know it's just that now you've learned your lesson and you will make sure or once beaten twice shy but otherwise the fact that now you are in a good place you're in a safe place I am happy for you. Bravo to you. Please, oh, warn others. <laughs> Thank you, sister. You're welcome, honey. You're welcome. Okay, now we're going to move on to, I don't know whether it's T. Lee or the Lee 21. You will tell us, my sister, you will tell us who you are. But let me unmute you. Hey. Technology is going to show me. Technology will be the death of me. Tilly, can you unmute yourself? Is it Tilly or the Lee? Or... Tilly or what? I don't know. Okay, Tilly is not... Okay, she's she's on. Hi, hi everyone. Hi, Madam Speaker. Hi, please tell us how you pronounce your name before we butcher it even further. <laughs> my name is Lindy, but I, I made it the Lee. Oh, the Lee. Oh, okay. Hi, hi the Lee. The to tell now but then i'll speak to the one that actually i wanted to tell okay uh, maybe i'll tell the other one next time okay uh, you know i'm a mother of three and i was never liking with relationships mm. so i i was dating this guy he was married and i was fine with it because i was not ready for my own relationship so but then you know you talk to people and people will pressurize you saying no you need to find your own you know to, you need to find someone that belongs to you sure and then one day i just decided okay fine let me try this my own relationship thing and i met a guy uh, this guy he was my colleague but our our department is big so not in the same department sure um so he was a temp and i was already a permanent employee mm. i was having my own car but i was renting so then we the, the relationship moved so fast that like within a month we moved in together and but then like he told me his sad story that his baby mama did this and that but then anyway i believed him he was a nice guy and then when we moved in like we started looking for this there and you know me as a mother i want a place for my kids sure so, the guy his phone was broken and my my, my phone was coming the, the, the contract was coming to an end and i didn't want to upgrade because the phone was still fine and he was like no he actually uh, encouraged me to continue with the contract but then i'll give him the phone and i did <laughs> Mm. I did uh, take the, the, the phone, the contact phone on his behalf because his phone was broken when he was fighting with baby mama and this and that. Mm. Okay, fine. Uh, fast forward. And then we managed to buy the stand together. Mm. And because he's not in town, in the village, they said, no, the stand won't have both your name. But because he's the man, the stand well. will be in his name. <laughs> mm. I already know the ending, Mara. You can continue for the sake of the life. <laughs> so we did both of them together and then some guy was actually on death with you but he was not talking but i was like dude i'm sure you knew my pay even everything well, why can't you know uh -huh. what you are doing with your money like i was actually okay let me mute somebody here there's somebody here who's on okay. who is that's it. the latest person who came in okay okay and Why can't I see Lord? Like, let's talk about these finances. I'm like, 
you know what? Most of the, I was never married before, but I know finances plays the most crucial role in the relationship. So for us to be able to plan, I need to know how much you get, how much you take home, just like I do. At the time, I'm still building at home, and I'm encouraging him, you can still build at home. So I need to know how much I'm going to take home while I'm taking this much home, and then we can do our thing. Mm. So, and then now the burden was heavy for me because I was building at home, and then now we must build here, and this thing of buying each and every month was was difficult. So I went to Capitec. So when I went to Capitec, they approved me for 198,000. And then he was like, no, I want to, and then during the process, I think it was a temp. And then I think when three months after we met, he got a, a, a permanent booth and I also got a promotion as well. So fine, things were going like, you know, like we are connected, you know, mm. like everything because mm. you know, when, after we met, you got a permanent job, I got promotion, you know, yeah, we're actually on the right side of Yeah, you are, you, are, you are cruising nicely, smooth. We are cruising. Mm. And this guy was on death review, but he's not telling me anything. I don't know nothing about him. And then he said, okay, they gave him a car allowance at work, but he must have at least the first installment. Mm. He must be able to pay it himself so that they can work out how much they're going to pay him for the car allowance. Fine. And then I went to Capitec. He said, okay, I'll give him... Uh, 8,000, he'd need 8,000. And then I went to Cape Tech. When I came back to Cape Tech, I'm telling him, they gave me 198, and he was like, no, give me 40. I'm like, no, wait, I'm not gonna give you 40. You said eight. How much do you need to settle whatever that you, you, you need to settle? He said, no, I want 40. I said, no, I won't give you 40. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna continue, build, uh, start with the strata and everything. You'll find me on the way. Fix your things, and then you'll find me moving on the way. I'm not gonna give you money. Do your things, find a way to settle them. And then fine, he settled, and then he got the car and everything. And uh, now at home, they're saying, they, he was driving my car all this time. Mm. Like, he never even tried to say he's going to catch a taxi because uh, maybe I'm living in with the kids and everything. But then when he bought a car, he started saying, like, imagine we've been driving my car all along. But yeah. now he bought a car. He wants to leave us. He wants us to leave, to use two cars. I'm like, no, like, you are, we are misusing the money. Why can't you wait for us? Mm. And then yeah, things started to change. And then one day he went home and then... After that weekend, he came home and told me that at home they said he must go back to the baby mama. Hey! And that was our story. Yes! And now I'm sitting there, I'm like, but we bought this stand together and that stand is in your name and everything. I'm like, yo, I went crazy. And our relationship was that one. Everyone at work knew. knew. Romeo and Juliet of the workplace, like, Beyonce and Jay Z. Yeah. Huh? Mama? I felt like everyone is looking at me. I Ooh. cried. That week I took leave. Like, I died. I remember even on one day, I, I, I was break down, like, walking and, like, someone just said, I'm fine, when maybe they had from someone. And I would cry. I would literally cry. I didn't care whether mm. they would be laughing at me and, and like that. But today, ne, I sit here, I fixed everything. I went to to the head crawl and then they changed it to everything even though it took me time it took me the whole year for them to change because they wanted me to buy the stand mm. together but i begged i went mm. again and again until i only paid 350 to change the name then everything now is fine um everything now is back on your I'm name people, yes people can judge me i'm back with I'm going to date someone that I know they don't belong to me. For now, I don't care what people are going to say about me, but I'm actually happy now. I have a guy that I'm with. Kiri, the next thing, he will be coming back, this guy, and say, I realize. I realize it was a mistake. Ah, well, now, now you are back. Everything of yours is fine. You are back on your video. You will be realizing very soon. What? Mark my words. You will be realizing this guy very soon. He did come back. He realized already. He did realize and told what? me that, you know, I was being I'm like, Way. Oh, I, fuck that shit. Hey, the, the, the good thing about me, I'm that person, I, I want closure. I'm not that person who moves fast and everything. So I went to his family. I went to his mom and aunt. I spoke to them. 
and then I even asked, how can you allow this girl to come back? Just because this guy bought a car, now she wants him back. And then they said, no, Rena, we don't believe in, in witchcraft things and everything. Hey. Okay, but so when he came back to me and said, no, I think my mother even told me that maybe they bewitched me. Well. You mean the same mother who told me that you guys are Christians? I saw your mother in Assemblies of God because I go to the same Assemblies of God. So today you are bewitched because now you want to come back to me. Go and find somebody else and fix your things with them. Aye, my sister, Luana, you are bewitched to not like him. You are bewitched to not love him anymore. It's simple. We are all bewitched, Mos. Hey, man. Uh, we're not going to suffer because of this uh, I'm bewitched. Hey, bewitch! Oh, now you are bewitched. This one time he was like, hey, you are going home during this time of the month. I'm like, no, I'm not dating a blesser, so there's no way I can be broke. Nah. None of my men gives me money here and there, so I can never be broke. We appreciate here and there, my sister. It's better than you being swindled. It's better than you doing everything for somebody and pretending as if they're the ones who are doing everything. Imagine someone coming back after you cried. People mm. at work laughed at you. Bona, he's setting pepper two for you, pepper two of heartbreak for you. When he comes, shoot to kill. He's gonna finish you. Hmm. Imagine even the, now the kids were involved. This guy was good with my boys. Mm. And my kids, like, it was so, like, it was not easy for me to tell them. I told them that he actually is gonna come back. Mm. When the, the first time when he left, I told them that he's gonna come back, but then. As time goes on, they saw that no, it's not coming back. They were like, Mama, Papa, why? I'm like, No, it's not coming back anymore. Actually, that time I lied. Mm. And I tell the truth I, from the get go. I tell the truth. I draw up a picture and say, This is what divorce is. This is what happens. Papa is not on vacation. He's not coming back. I mean, I tell. I mean, I, I mean, I'm open. I don't want to lie to my kids. I don't want my kids being angry at me when they grow up. They can be angry at me for other things. Yo, but I'm so glad Uri, you have bounced back, my sister, and, and your things are working out now. I, I think we have lost you there. Are you still here? Are you still here? Okay, I think we've, we've lost the Lee. The Lee. We can move on to the next one. Um, Who do we have next? Yo, guys, it's hectic. We have Sandile Ndlela. Hi, Sandile. Hi, everyone. How are you doing, my brother? Ah, we are blessed, we are blessed, we are blessed, we are under the grace. And before I start, sorry to all the ladies. The reason why I came to the life, it was one thing. When, can you hear me? Yes, we can. I can hear you proper. I can hear you. Okay. Yes. The first time when I followed you, mm -hmm. I was because of what women have to go through because of us as men. Mm. And particularly you go, you have to take a lot of passion from us as men, yeah. speaking in general. Because sure. uh, yeah, I even, I just want to say thank you because I even set my wife down after I've saved a couple of videos and made a listen and ask her, is she still happy because we've been together from 2002. Wow. So it's like a lifetime. Mm. So she doesn't know, and we both don't know anyone else, and I don't think we can start a new relationship. Yeah. But yeah. I just wanted to touch base with her and find, her and find out whether she's still happy and mm. hundreds and all of that stuff. From watching your video, that's what provoked me. Wow. But we are still hundreds. It's ah. said of what it said to listen to women what they have to go through because us as men and I'm not any different from other men. I'm a man as well. I go through the same thing. Mm -hmm. I had my first share. I think I broke a heart mm -hmm. a couple of times. So mm -hmm. that's why I ask whether is she still happy that that she did when I this marriage or yeah. what can I do to, to make it right? Yeah, it, it's sad, but sorry harder to all the other women. Ah, thank you so much. You know what I think, my brother, name? I think um, in a lot of cases, the only thing, you I, honestly speaking, I feel like it's not a lot of things that need to be done. And just get their perspective in life or because us as men, we do not, we do not listen to we listen, but we it takes a while to actually sing in and actually understand 
what was said. But we Okay, Sandila is breaking as well there. Sandila, you still with us? Hello? Okay, I think we have lost Sandile there, but um, what I actually wanted to say, because I could tell that he was not hearing me when I was speaking, um, I wanted to say that, guys, you know, it's not really that complicated, the things that we want. Um, if we can come to the table and sit down and say, how do we work these things out? We definitely, a lot of relationships can be saved. But the problem is that people don't want to put in the work. People just feel like, Bona, they want everything to just be a miracle and help and happen just like that. So I think every relationship that people are able to sit and say, what can we do? Where can I improve? How can I make make you happier than i've already made you i think that's all that matters you know because i was giving an example the other day i don't know wh which video but i was saying that um, um a lot of damage can be done in relationships but being able to reverse that damage or being able to work on um making sure that things go back to normal it's just a matter of saying okay we're a team we are the same as people who have gained somebody who has gained weight and they need to lose weight for you to lose weight you need to cut on the diet you need to exercise one is exercise one is diet when you were gaining all of the weight it was easy it was simple but you having to lose all of that weight it requires a lot more work than it did for you to gain the weight so now it's diet is exercise if one is diet one is exercise and you both put in the work definitely you can go back to where you were mara one wants to exercise, the other one wants to still eat McDonald's. How are you going to go back to normal? One wants to eat, one wants to eat uh, green vegetables, the other one doesn't want to exercise. How are you going to work things out? So I think it all depends on who is willing to put in the work for you to get back to where you are. So basically, yeah, that's just my thing there. Um, unfortunately, because we have lost Sandy, um, we'll have to move on to Iri Ranzo. Iri Ranzo, hi. How are you doing, my sister? I'm good in yourself. I'm good. I absolutely love your name. Is it yours or is it your your, your child's name? It's mine. Ah, it's beautiful. It's actually Rans, so I had to put the E. In the I think for me, just... you see, for me, ne, the fact that you put Iri Rans, like I, that Iri that you put it in the beginning, ne, yeah. it gives it that thing. It says, it's, it's a stamp of saying, listen, this is the thing. This is love. Yeah, this is love. I absolutely love your name. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. Uh, you just said something now that took me back. I think I'll be like the lead to, like, what you just said right now to talk about losing weight and everything. I think the losing weight part mm. depends on the pain and the scars that you have. Yes. I didn't want to talk about this relationship, but what you just said right now, I'm just going to touch base on that. Sure. I was in a relationship for almost nine years. I was cheated on, I was everything, like anything that you can think of. There were two miscarriages in between, whatever. He tried when I left, because you know women stay until they are enough, and then when they leave, they leave. Mm. When I left, he felt it that I'm leaving, mm. and he tried to take off that weight, but mm. it was too late. Mm. So there, there are times when you want to go to the gym, you want to diet, but the fat is too much for you to take out. Yeah. You understand? Even if you go for a surgery, they're not going to fix it. Even if they do those by what what they cut off, whatever, it's just too late. Yeah. I just wanted to touch base on that. Oh, but coming so to the topic. Yes. Wow. I'm, I'm happy that I came across this live because I was talking to my friends today that I thought that I walked into a relationship, but I walked in as a a living ATM, mm -hmm. like enough, I noticed it before. Mm. It's been a few months in it. I've known this guy before, and this time around, we're like, it's fine. Let's just try and work it out. Mm -hmm. He has two kids. I have two kids. They're not mine. They're my late sisters. So okay. I take care of them in everything. But his kids are older. The other one passed me trick. The other one is doing grade 11. Okay. The pattern that I've realized with men is that Sometimes they don't ask money directly. They manipulate you in the conversation until you feel like... Yeah, you want to volunteer. They, they make you want to volunteer. Yeah, they make mm. you want to volunteer. They're not going to ask. Because I remember yesterday I was asking him, I was asking him, so how did I notice the pattern? When I'm there, these kids will come complain about money. I don't have money to carry to school. I don't 
don't have a uniform and you'll be looking at me in a sense that uh, can you hear them yes I became their mother and their mother was written off because she's not working mm. i am better than him i'm not earning much but i am better than him so it becomes that thing of where you have to volunteer sure and i'm like okay first i had 50 bucks in me in my hand i went to buy coke right mm. i wanted coke and some snacks because i had baba last that day and before we could get to the shops his son was like i don't have money to carry to school tomorrow mm. so i took the money that i had i bought what i wanted to buy it's my money at the end of the day sure mind you i don't have a problem transporting myself coming to your place i don't have a problem buying myself whatever that i want because i don't have a problem spoiling myself mm -hmm. On top of that, you still want me to spoil you while you're not giving me anything. Mm. So his child says that he doesn't have money to carry tomorrow to school. Okay. I get to the shops. I buy Coke. I buy two pack of biscuits, which took the 50 rand. And he's like, so if you're buying everything, uh, what is he going to carry? Huh. How? So it's my responsibility now. Okay. I let it slide. I didn't say anything. Two weeks back, I went to buy a monitor, the second screen. My job requires me to have two screens for me to perform well. Sure. So I'm talking to him. He's like, oh, where you are? I'm like, oh, no, I went to buy a second screen. He's like, why? It means that we're going to serve. I'm not going to have food. I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? He's like, no, it means, yeah, it's been a good time since then. I'm like, why? Uh, did you did you take the keys from shop right and pick and pay and then check us like, when you are holding the keys of truck, of the grocery stores? I'm like, why are you saying that? And it's like, no, because me, I'm financially not okay right now. So I was expecting that you jump to me when you say I'm financially not okay right now. So I was expecting that you jump in. Well, so le, le. That we're going to somehow contribute at home, all of us. So I have to pop in a thousand for him and his kids to eat. I have two of my kids. I'm a student. I'm working. I have my family. It's only my mom who's working. So now you want to add on top of that. No, this guy wanted a stepmother. He didn't want a girlfriend. He wanted a stepmother for himself, not for his kids. For himself. For himself, right? Sure. So yesterday he comes and he's like, uh, no, there's a funeral. My cousin passed and they expect us to pop in money. So when the other one was talking about funerals and everything, that's the one line they use. Oh, yeah. And I said, okay, so what is your plan? He's like, no, I don't have money, blah, 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 blah. What do you want me to do? Because I wanted him to come out and say it. Mm. But he doesn't want to say it. Yeah, he wants you to I figure it out. Yeah, I need you to support me. I need you to be there for me. I need you to care. And I was like, I thought I, I support you. I thought I care. I thought I love you. So what is lacking? Yeah. And he said, no, you know, you need to understand my financial state and support me. I'm like, okay. I'm done. Wow. I, I like, one thing that I've noticed, I'm 30, I'm turning 37 in two weeks. It's one thing that the other lady was saying that sometimes we want to settle, to accept yeah. that we accept the bare minimum. We, we get to a point where we we loosen our boundaries. Mm. We want to accept whatever that comes our way. This morning I was like, have you been Bob the Builder for nine years? You yeah. cannot be Bob the Builder again. You only build once. You can't yeah. build twice. Yeah, once beaten, beaten want, twice, shy. No, you can't. And I'm like, I want to tell all the ladies, most of us are financially stable. Sure. The only thing that pushes us it's the partners that we have. Mm. My my previous relationship, he quit his job as a technician, a qualified one. Is that I want to go into business, blah 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 blah. And if you're not helping him out with petrol, you're not helping him out, him out with a time, with a day. Like I remember this other time, he planned a weekend away. Okay, fine. He knew when I get paid, and he planned it on that weekend, right? And when we got to Wood Sprays, he's like, can you please borrow me 3000 I'll give you. I'm like, I don't have it. He's like, but you got paid yesterday. Hey, but now, nah. the yeah. audacity. That, you see that line? No. Oh. You, you understand? People, uh, the men that, okay, I wanted to tell the lady, one, do not tell 
anyone how much she earns. My mom has been married for 42 years. My dad doesn't know her salary. Because hmm. the second they know how much you earn, the second they know your expenses, they start calculating, okay, so this one has this much. And this thing of us taking it upon our shoulders to go out on dates with them and thinking, okay, what I can afford. It depends on the person. Some of them, they take it as, okay, so she can afford. Slimming, I don't have this. Can you please buy this for me? Slimming, can I have this? Can you, 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 actually, you actually take yourself there. You, you take yes, yourself you there to the swindler's to, gate. To, to be honest, most of us ladies, we buy ourselves gifts. We take ourselves out. We go on vacations with our own money. Sure. It's just that we, we don't have the... My, my sister, uh, let me tell you something. I, I, it's fine. You can call me beta, guys. It's fine. But... Is there a normal guy who would go and buy a, 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 a short, short year orange that is matching your swimwear orange and then yes. you guys go for vacation? Is there such a guy? No. 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 Okay, you can continue, my sister. The problem is that we, with us as women, we, we write ourselves off. Mm. Or let we settle. We settle. Yes, to settle because of the society. I don't have a child, I'm 37, I'm working, and they start questioning, like, why don't you have someone? And when you get to that point, you want to settle for whatever comes yeah. to me. Mm. And you struggle and you suffer inside mentally, physically, emotionally. You become a single parent in the marriage. You become a single breadwinner yeah. in the marriage. Yeah. Because of the society. So if we can love ourselves better, with me, I told myself, if I, I die single, it's fine. Ah. I joined that one where I go with someone who belongs to someone. It's fine. I don't have the pressure of me having to do anything. Because, really, can we love ourselves? You don't have to suffer any more than you have already suffered. Okay, somebody, somebody just came in. His mic is on. And there's noise in the background. Yeah, no, you can continue, my sister. Sure. They just want money. Sure. They are on to all independent women who they know that they are above 35. They, they don't have anyone. That's what they go for. Sure. No, that's true. That is very true, my sister. Anyway, I really appreciate your input and your contribution towards the topic. Um, Just take care of yourself. Please, please, just do me that one favor. Take care of yourself. No, I'm, I'm on to my... I'm, I'm on to my uh, studies and my work and that's it sure done. i love your name okay I'll give it to my child thanks you must you must it's a beautiful name okay we're gonna move on to i don't know how to pronounce your name my sister it's l e r m u u i don't even know what you call yourself don't want to butcher your name <laughs> please talk to me good, good evening everybody good evening um, sis Eh? It's Lemo, just trying to make it look beautiful. The oh. name is Lemo. Lemo. Short for Lemo Kani, yes. Short for? Um, so I just wrote Lemo Kani. What's Lemo Kani? Yes. Lemo Kani is basically um, be wary, so be alert. In what language? In Zonga? <laughs> exactly. In Zonga, yes. Wow. Like Lemo got the situation. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you may proceed, my sister. You may proceed. So I can... Thank you so much for the opportunity. So, um, that's actually the reason I got into the life. My name should have been warning enough, but anyway, nobody ever sees the red flags, right? As um, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Your name should have warned you your entire life. Already? Yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, um, what happened was, um, can everybody still hear me? I can hear you. Can everybody else hear Lemu? Okay. Somebody's still saying this life has no manual. Let's let's okay, wait for the comment. Oh, they can hear you. Yeah, they can hear you. Okay. Thank you so much. So as I was saying, so um, I dated this guy in high school. Everything seemed perfect. Roses. You know the works. And sure. then when I was 20, final year, I got pregnant. And you know, everybody's always like, rush, rush, get engaged, pay the lobola. Yeah, cover the shame. Be, make the parents <laughs> proud. Are
Are you still with us, Lemmy? Lemmy. Um, so after that happened, I, yes, yes, I am. Sorry okay. about that. Okay, no problem. And then um, after that happened, uh, that's when the stars started falling from the sky because I started working very good job and he wasn't. Okay. He's this guy from Venda. You know those muscular good looking ones, man? Sure. Those ones when you work with them in the street, everyone's like, oh, hi. Ugaran <laughs> ganore. You can just make me, you know, you know, when somebody's eating ice cream and you're like, Can I just lick once? Can I just lick your ice cream once? You was like one of those guys, ne? where people wish they can just lick your ice cream once. I, so, um, as soon as I started doing that, <laughs> I started getting the money and then um, he found out how much I was earning by accident because I left my emails open, right? So he's like, how oh, babe, I'm going to call her chair and go back. Yeah, but no. Babe, that's a secret. That's my secret alone. I rehab because I thought you'd be helping out if you're earning this much money. Me, I don't see where it goes. I was like, wow, I'm still paying off my student loans and everything. So obviously, I'm, I need to focus on finishing that up. He's like, you know, I'm not working. And me, I'm going to call for And she's asking, like, when am I going to start sending money? It's embarrassing. Hey, you should be embarrassed for asking for money to begin with. Hey, <laughs> So um, he's like, every month, at least if you can send my mother a thousand. I was like, no, Svako, Svako wanna grant. She gets grants, you know, every month because she's out. And then he's like, no, that one thousand will go the extra mile. Ah, because I loved him, I did that. <laughs> we'll take number one. Yo, you were paying pop health for your, ba for your mother-in-law, my sister. Huh? <laughs> you were maintaining your mother-in-law. You are a good Mako Otiwe now. When you are the one of a kind. You may proceed, sis. Don't mind me. Please, don't mind me. <laughs> that we have. <laughs> that we have. You know, when we are in job at Makuan, you know, the mm. parents at home, you know, they know you came here for work, so they expect something now. And sure. So I thought I'm helping out, and once he starts working, I, man, I'll, 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 I'll pay the fruits, you know, I'll get the fruits from his work as well. Sure. Which I didn't. Ah, uh, as time goes on, I told him I wanted to buy a car. Sure. Oh, Jesus. No, that was the network. The network, name. Can you still? Can you still hear me? Are you here? Are you still here? Pella, you can't leave us, Lemu. We will come and hunt you down. Pella, that story is juicy. You have to come back. You must come back. Heaven. No problem. Um, no problem. <laughs> so as time went on, um, he found out I had plans to buy a car, right? So we've joined this um, church, and obviously he wants to be seen month end. My he's taking out the tithe. Hey, show to off, church, and show off. Same church. WhatsApp group. So when once we join the church, I'd also make sure that when I took out my tithe and my offering, I would also give him some so that he can also take it out. But my sister, so tithe is ten percent of your income. Hey. Which income does he have? You, so when you were taking 20% to church? Towards the end, which was in 2021, I realized that there was someone else in the picture and that the money that I was contributing was not going to that. Ex excuse me. Lemu, come back, please. Your story is incomplete. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, uh, so, so when you have been maintaining your, your, your husband's side cheek, Lemu, we want answers. You were you were maintaining your husband's side cheek. Your 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 husband who is not working who is cheating on you. You are maintaining the audacity. Hi, bo. So um, I, the, the money was starting to go to this person, and that's when I made the decision that I was going to take out the tithe. Because mm. I was like, oh, this person is actually going to be my husband. Mm. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take out the tithe. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take out the tithe. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take Something in the house, he knew I would like just take the initiative to do it. Ah, uh, and then um, I went to go tell our spiritual father, we did. You know, daddy's in church, we looked, we looked to them for advice, you know, 
So I went to him, I was like, hey, this is the situation that's happening with uh, my partner at home, and I really wish you could speak to him and advise him and advise us on how we can financially both take the burden other than it just being on top of me. Mm. Yeah? I, the, the advice from Daddy was unexpected. Daddy was like, maybe you should go home and give him space. I was mm. like, oh, but he, we are no so we mm. live together, we live together, I pay the rent. Mm. What's happening? Like, go home and give him space where you are the one who's paying for everything, my sister. Yay, yay. <laughs> I'll never forget that response. He's like, no, go home. Let him breathe a bit. He needs to mess you a bit. You know? Wow. Like, so important. He's gonna, you know, when those when the laundry basket starts getting full, he'll miss you. Wow. Like, I'm daddy. And I'm only there for the laundry. <laughs> and then after um he starts with us advice, I'm like, hey. Maybe, let me not listen to him. Let me stay, right? Mm. So when I stay like this, about a week later from that um, encounter with our spiritual father, I found out what he did. He looked for a woman for him. Huh? Because apparently, the work that I do, I travel a lot to the neighboring countries because I'm a tour guide. So, so like, sometimes I'm in the Namibia for a month. So daddy was like, how can you build a home without someone who's never there? So I'm like, hey, bro, I've been with this man since we're in high school. What's happening now? And then he listened to Daddy, you know, because Daddy was... Oh, wait, friend. my sister, oh, oh, oh my sister, oh. D yes. Daddy, whose father is Daddy? Whose father is he? Daddy, our spiritual father, like, in the church. You are lying, God forbid. If that church is a cult. Hey, boy. Strike me with thunder. Huh. My God in heaven, kill me right now if I'm lying. Because I found him a woman. Ah, oh, my sister. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> wait, oh, oh, wait, 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 my sister, please. Daddy is your spiritual father. He said that your husband must find another woman because whenever you travel a lot, an entire man of God. A whole man of God. What? Oh, yes, yes. So, you know, he's even associated with some famous gospel artists in this country. Obviously, I'm not gonna mention the name. Sure, sure. But like, I was like, okay, wow, this is what's happening. Like, when did we get to this point? Please, you, you can proceed. I mean, I'm still processing. When I proceed. So, um, hi, daddy's like, they found him a woman. I was like, hi, hey, bro, since when? Because daddy was the one who was even there when the novel and everything took place. He prayed for us, you know, the, the works and everything. So he's like, no, you cannot be with a woman who's never around. You can't go. My sister, please proceed. Don't give me a heart attack. Blood of Nebuchadnezzar, my sister. There's no way you must come back. Lena, tell Lemu to come back. We're not taking anybody. We will not sit down here until Lemu comes. Lemu must come back. Eh? Lemu must come back. Zinke. I appreciate Hey, I am. <laughs> I can hear you laughing now. I I appreciate you being here, ne? But wait, I'm just laughing, but wait. Lemu Le 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 must come and finish that story. Lemu better come and finish that story. <laughs> there she is. Let me wait. When I when I just just hold on, isn't it? Just hold it there, and then let's let's let we can't let anybody come in between Lemu. Lemu Lemu must just finish her story. Mm -mm. What is the end? We can't we can't just. No, 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 no. We can't move on. She's here now. She's here. Lemu, there's no way. We will hunt you down. We will hunt you down. You can't just leave just like that. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I understand it's the network. So basically, what ended up happening after Daddy looked for the woman for him, I was like, clearly, if Daddy says, Kubuti, I'm not the one, maybe I'm not the one. Because you know, spiritual things that maybe I don't understand. The one thing that got me is when I was traveling. So I was in Namibia for 42 days, right? Mm. And then Daddy's prophesying in front of the church. He's telling the baby Daddy that my I left my mother to spy on him. My whole mother, a whole grown woman who has her own life. Uti, I left her in charge of spying on him. That was when I started realizing Uti, these prophecies in front of the congregation, like what's happening, you know? I was like, hey, okay, this is what it is. It's fine. I just need to, like, pull myself towards myself and decide, Uti, what am I going to do? Because clearly, this situation is becoming toxic for me. I... Excuse me. 
No, I'm still here, my sister. I'm, I'm with you. You can proceed. And then that's when I told Daddy, I was like, hey, you me now. I was like, hey, Daddy, man, I can't stay anymore because this is not healthy for me. So I'm thinking of leaving him. She's like, Musa, I advised you a while back. But you must give him space, you know, so he can miss you and everything. Hi, <sighs> anyway, so bottom line is just to sum it all up. My sister, please, please, bottom line, please, the conclusion, sum it up for me. I want to understand. I have a question for you. Hi, ah, my sister is leaving again and we have not had the bottom line. Where is the bottom line? Lemue. Yo. Sauce, naninina. Sauce, eh? The network is very jealous of us. I mean, I want to understand, Urelemu, why did this spiritual part, why even I'm even spitting all over you guys? Why didn't you clap him? Hmm? This spiritual father deserves a warm clap. Oh, you must... Hey, hi, Bo. Now I was gonna... Hey. Hi, Bo. Daddy. Ah, Lemu is gone without conclusion. No, Lemu must come back, guys. And I don't think she's gonna come back again, yes? Ah, wamaba. Hanti, why? Hi, Bo. Oh, there. I think she's back. Wait. Just, just tie the lever, my baby. Tie the lever. <laughs> tie the lever, my sweetheart. We are still waiting for Lemu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. straight. I don't think she's coming back. I think the network has really, really done the most with her. She's, uh, she, I'm not seeing her here. Hi, Bo. Guys, did you hear what Lemu said? Daddy, as a man of God, found somebody for her husband because you know, she travels a lot. You're not the one who's been working and making money, bringing money into the house to support this guy and his side chicks and his mother. What a yes, yes. I'm Ruti Omar. I'm Futek. I'm Ruti Futek. Ruti, if you are Ruti, if you are Lemus, I'm Ruti Futek. Nakir Futek. Evan. Eh. Ah, what? Zinke, you can continue, my love. Go on, Galuma, I'm Ruti. Hey, my love. So, uh, I met this guy uh, during my second year. We dated during the night. Both of us were broke. Cool. So, I get a job because I love, you know, the side hustles. I get a job. I tutor. And it was good money. I mm. made, like, 3,000. You know, when you're a student, 3,000 is a lot. Sure. I started enjoying me and my boyfriend. They, ah, and then he's like, no, yeah, put me in. So I put him in, I talked to the, the people that are uh, employing me the inside. I said, hey, I have a boyfriend and he's good. So they put, me, they put him in. After he gets the job, we break up. But then I, 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 I'm still in denial. It was not the job. Whatever happened, happened. So, okay, we break up. I move on, I graduate, I get my own job. Then when I'm stable, I move to Cape Town. We come back together again. This time around, it's serious. It's like, yeah, I want us to have kids to get married. It's serious, you know, it's serious. So, me being me, we're moving together. He comes to Cape Town, we're moving together. I take care of the both of us financially. Because he was pretty good and he was doing his honors. I'm like, ah, fine, you know, it's he, he, he's towards his final year and he's going to get a job and we're going to be fine. And he already knows that he like to take care of me financially. But it's him. What, what could go wrong? Uh, I take care of everything financially. When he gets his stipend, he gives it to me. I take care of the job. You know, I take care of everything in the house. Even his stipend, I distribute the money because I'm very good with money. Sure. So, uh, it happens that uh, one of those days, his phone breaks. He was using an Android. But now he's like, ah, I'm getting a job in January. It was around September. I'm getting a job in January. Please take a contract for me and I will pay you back. And... It happens to be an iPhone. I don't have an iPhone, madam. <laughs> when well, you don't have an iPhone, Marie must go get an iPhone for somebody else's son. I, I get an iPhone on contract to own somebody else's son. I'm paying it per month. Wait. Cool. I'm going to get a job. Fine. Oh. It goes, it goes. I took the contract. Then on my bonus, you know what you bonus, December. So on my bonus, it happened that we were starting to see, move apart. So he wanted to go to Spain, so I was like, yeah, it's cool, you know. I'm also doing my studies, so it's fine. Then he went, he borrowed some of my bonus money. 
He borrowed your bonus money. Oh yeah, you are, you are investing. You are chalices. You are chalices. Tando Sam. Nothing. Your, your bonus money that you borrowed him. Ah, the bonus money, you know, that's when things that are saying, ah, I'll give you next month, ah, I'll give you next month. You're all of shares getting money. I think it was over 80,000. I'm waiting for my money. He's like, oh, I don't have money, oh, whatever, whatever. I'm not going to be my boyfriend. That's his girl. Yeah, it's just that's what we're So from there, we decide we're going to pay rent for the address. He's going to pay rent on the side buy food and do everything and give me some money. He didn't give me that money. Not my money, the one that I owe him, like he gets rent allowance, because we've been talking about this. I don't like taking care of my financial. And uh, he's like, no, cool. Past my birthday match, when he started to be financially stable now, I'm expecting lots and lots. I know I've done so, it. So, so, so you are expecting to reap everything that you sold. The phone that you can't touch, is it the same one that you took on contract, the iPhone? That is under my own name. That wow. Is like, he's starting to be spooky. I was like, okay, I don't stay with those. So, I wrote in the contract. Luckily, they did the So, I took a, 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 a notebook. I wrote down everything I ever did for him from the phone to where the contract is ending, all the things I'm doing to the time to the dad. I made him pay all my money that he borrowed. Like, I was that I'm that petty. He, he, did he pay? He's paying even today. He's doing monthly things. I was like, he, he was signing here. This is the amount of money that you are You are the president. If you, if you got him to pay, you are the president. <laughs> My sister, you are the champ. I shame you, 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 you are the champ. You are, you are, you are the one. You, you got away. You are the one that got away then. So, 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 can I ask, Guru, what is actually pu what pushed him to pay? Because he, he could have easily just said, "No, I don't want to pay," and he, 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 there was nothing you were gonna do about it. So, what got him to pay? you're gonna say you are his wife now yeah, and you want a divorce and you want his money now
and everything I'm around and you look himself inside the house, I'll wait there with the with the, the, the movers, you know those clubs for yeah. two hours. One day I call the police on him, so he knew I'm crazy. I go to the lowest floor. I call the police on him to the lock that he opened. I took over my finish Oh. Mm. Ah, Shams. Sisi, bravo to you. At least we have one person who represented us well. We are happy. This is a happy ending. We are happy for the happy ending. Thank you very much, my sister. Uh, I'm so happy. I'm so glad. Or at least we have one person who has a happy ending. You know? And I hope you are spreading the gospel to say, please, so be be aware, be alert. And even you, self, self, be alert. Ah. ah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think we're gonna we're gonna take we're gonna take the next one now, okay, isn't it? Okay, thanks, my love. Um a lot of people are having network problems because of the load shedding, guys. So I've been trying to get people to be accepted, but we have Ayanda Entle. Ayanda Entle, you can take it away in the meantime while I try to get more people to come through. Hi, madam. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you, my love? I'm good. Hey, I just bumped into your live and I was like laughing because I'm so ashamed that this happened to me. But I'm, I'm glad that when you bump into the live and this thing is happening, you realize that you don't have to be ashamed anymore so you can share openly and just get it out of your chest, right? Ah, so we are winning I then. To, I want to warn ladies. Mm. You know these tender boys. Sure. Ah. Mm. Ah. You know the invoices. The Bafana ba invoice. I saw Patalo. Maybe it will Patalo next hey. run. Mm. I mean, I'm next in the next. Uh, I get okay now in the special run. Please mm -hmm. be warned about these these guys. I'm just calling them boys because oh my gosh. So this happened to me. Um, I, I dated this guy, but then I wasn't ready. And Liena, like he was just fooling around. It was not something serious. I was just from Babazi. Please turn down a bit. So, um, um, yeah. So then we started, okay, dating or fooling around. Uh, it wasn't a serious thing. Uh, at that time, I was still in, in varsity, but just, 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 um, it, it was a few months till I graduate. Okay, fine. And then, yeah, we just grew apart. It was nothing serious. I was also not in, it was not a relationship in my opinion. Fine. And then I started working. My life started picking up. I started being independent, which is what I always wanted for myself. And then, we, then uh, again, then he came back. Uh, we started talking. And then he asked me for money the other time. He said that there was a job that he had to do. So um, uh, he was actually not asking for money, but he was telling me, but you know when a person is telling you something in the sense of he actually wants you to help. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Don't say it. So I was like, okay, but I don't have much. Um, it was the last week of of the month so i was like hey it's bad for everyone but i, I have 3.5 i can give him that's what i have that's what i can give him so i think he was like and i took a screenshot to show him how much i'm left with just to show him that like i really wanted to help but then i don't have much at the at that time and then like he was happy he started um he started doing video calls, calling me. I was surprised, you know. Mm. Like when it was working, immediately I went to get that in and I took my son. So I, yeah. So my son was my responsibility. I was, I was doing very good. Yeah. Mm. Um, me and my son would go out every weekend. He was, it's like he was from afar. Baby, yes, can you please turn it down? So, um, so he, it's like he was watching my life from afar. And then that's when he striked. So I told him another time that oh, I'm looking for an apartment because I want to live with, uh, because my son is here now. Fine. And then he was like, you know, I live alone. He, just, he suggested, he's like, you know why you're looking for a place you can come and live with me uh, because I live alone. Ugh. And then I was like, then I thought about it. I was like, but like my child. Yeah, mm. You want to expose your child to that guy. Mm. When it was time for me to move out of where I was, 
um, and then I couldn't find a suitable place. Then he still called me. He's like, no, you can really, it doesn't have to be for a long time. You know, I'll give you your space, whatever. Fine, okay, me and my son, we moved in there. He moved in. The, his place, obviously, is fully furnished, you know. It was just, it, but it's, it's in the suburbs, so it's a, it's far from where I work. He's like, no, don't worry, you know. Yeah, well, only to find out that the guy is actually going through financial crisis. That's why I found out when I was in the house that no, he I actually the brought fridge, you in there to save him, to rescue him. Exactly. When I opened the fridge, the fridge should be off because why is it on? Because there's nothing but water in the fridge. Ever too. I was like, okay, At least he should have warned you in advance to say, listen, when you come here, you must just know I'm going through stuff. I need somebody to come help me up with, with, with something. You know? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And I understand his, his job. And to me, I was like, begin with the end in mind. Um, I can I can be helpful to this guy because I know when they, those invoices, when they pay, it's a lot of money. They might not get paid uh, for three months, six months, but when they get paid, it's a lot of money. It can even be up to a million. You know? mm. So I was like, you know, um, I, me and him can, we, we, we can do something. We can like it, it can we can do a lot together like i can be there as capital then he pays me off see the right to see the family you know so sure. i was thinking like that but you know he was not thinking like that i was his sugar mama fine so sure. I, I, I saved him uh, i was um there was even a point where okay every time i, I get paid i would give him uh when i asked him okay how much do you want for petrol because he didn't even have money for petrol he didn't have cosmetics even eating my happy life, I was so like I was with that guy. Oh, that guy was he financially drained me. Fine, mm. okay, this is what I used to do. The, number one, I was okay. The bank was looking for his car, they wanted to take it away. It was a golf seven, it was a golf R. Mm. Uh, okay, I, I, okay, then I paid for the car because it was like it was going to be the fourth month, so the bank was looking for the car. I paid for the car. I paid for one, uh, for one month installment. He was behind rent. His rent is like 10K. I paid that. And then the one thing, I didn't mind doing that because he said when he's getting paid, he will reinvest me. Sure, sure. I, the only thing that I was offended about, Gori, he does not think that I'm a single parent and I have my own responsibilities. He should be considerate. When I bought groceries, I used, my son goes to like a multi multiracial school, so you know how they carry their lunches. It can't just be anything. Gunali the chips, gunali in, you know, and it's expensive. Sure. Fine. Uh, so what he used to do, I used to actually buy groceries for my 5,000, but every week I would have to go back. Yeah, obviously. And, and go back and go back. It was too much for me. My budget was like strictly 5,000 because it was me, him, my nanny, and my son. It was for, for the four of us. Mm. But I ended up spending per month with my 9,000 because he used to eat my son's yogurt. Hey! <laughs> hey! My son, my sister, I'm sorry for laughing, ne? I'm sorry that I'm laughing. But I did a video like this before to say people are going to finish your son's captain. That, that pit bull will finish your son's captain. As easy, you can proceed. I buy my son those little hand, hundred percent juice, like six, four, six packs. I used to buy ten because of him. He used to every day take one juice. I really own. I was on herbal life because I have a problem with my weight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for laughing, God. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I was buying. Um, I was buying herbal life because I, I have a problem with my weight. Like sure. I was losing weight. So he used to eat my herb life. The nanny used to tell me that he's, he's drinking your shakes. Yeah, now he sleeps the whole day while I'm, I'm giving him my card for petrol. Fine. Yo, and then after that, there's these expensive products. You know, these products double. Um, what is this? I'm an RSVP for your face and whatever. They are very expensive. Yo, so he used to use my face wash. And if you use my face wash, inside the whole house because it smells really good. Every time he showers, I, I'm, I'm like, hey, this guy, is it me who's still smelling? Kappa, he's using my face wash. I, I used to hide my things in his home where he's renting because I was hiding even the, the, the child's things. I was so... Okay, the last 
the last straw that I had with him was um, it was two things. When um uh, when the nanny has to do his laundry, obviously I have to uh, empty his pockets. I used to find slips that he's swiping with my card alcohol for girls because he huh. doesn't drink. Ha! Huh. Swiping, swiping. Okay, okay. I keep quiet about that because I always feel like I. And he's a closer guy, so he always wanted to be superior. Always wanted. He was even at some point telling my son that I must tell my son not to open the fridge. He must ask permission. I'm superior like, with zero permission. bank balance. <laughs> I'm like ask permission for what? He's like no. That's how he was raised. And then um, the, me and the nanny when he wasn't there, we used to gossip about him. Like my man, my son must ask permission to eat the food that his mother is buying for him, while he can go in the fridge and take my son's food for scrapping as a DJ, and then a robbery. And then I come back from work and he's sleeping. I must clean after him. I must cook because the nanny couldn't cook. I must pay all the bills. Ghana keep atala for God seven hour. Ha! My sister now she lay in your hands. You, you, you. I what did this guy feed you? Me. I wanted to buy you. You know some as people, some men are actually wiser than him. Their wife will finance his projects. When he gets paid, they build an empire. That's what I thought we we were going oh, to. Oh yeah. And he and he's just scamming me. You'll you find that he doesn't even have not even one tender. He's just your chill. This life is just. Imagine mm. the last time. Okay, me and him actually, and I thank God that I I moved out before he scammed me big time now. Kesha. Um, he, we were actually planning for me to go and get a loan for him so that he can do a project. Uh, the, the 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 project was hundred and something k, so I was willing to put it for him. Gandhi, God opened my eyes before. God opened my eyes before the day when I actually wanted to go to the mall. Um, wanted to go to the mall. I, he was supposed to pick me up after doing groceries because the groceries was like seventy percent dijiwa kiena, dijiwa kiena, kiena uja everything in the house. <laughs> like Uri, he eats. Yo, even his friends were saying, yo, you've gained so much weight. Because it's because we're more fair, girl. You are feeding his his lazy bum. This guy. So the day God woke me up was that day when he was supposed to fetch me, and he didn't. He said he that he no, he's, he's sleeping. He's tired, tired from sleeping the whole day. Fetch you where? Wait, fetch you where? At by the mall after doing groceries. So you must carry the groceries home. Yes. So he for him to go and eat the same food, but he can't come and fetch you at the mall. So, he was actually demanding me to buy him a pacifier and he said the pacifier is for a job that they are going to do and i was like pacifier from sedency maraja i'm calling you to come here and fetch me for groceries i was screaming like a mad woman my sister whoa, whoa, whoa wait pacifier king pacifier king pacifier the one that i know the one that i know dummy dumb 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 dumb, 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 dumb.
I so I call this guy crying, crying like you know I'm done with this. I had been telling him, updating him. Actually, this guy, my side guy, wanted to help this guy study business. He actually said, you know what you must do? Just tell your guy to tell you what his company is. It's only like the jobs. It's not gonna be much. Was there even a company, my sister? Would he pair this or something like that? Yo, this guy, no, this guy is just money. To oh. him, it was nothing. So, no man has ever given me more than a thousand rand in my life. I was shocked. But we broke up, but he still here for me. No, Mara, at least, you know, even if you broke up with him, it's a happy ending for you because at least you, you managed to bounce back and fall on something and now you are you are proper seated. You get what I'm saying? I'm happy for you. I'm happy for the happy ending. But yo, you know, you know if you didn't have this guy, ne? To back you up like that. When are you going to be in a psychiatric ward now? Sure. All that money I spent on him, he only gave me two thousand and went back with Yo, my sister, shame. I don't know your guy, ne? The, the one, the, 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 the one. But if you are watching, if you ever bump into this video, maybe on YouTube, maybe you are looking for how to something and you find my video, my guy, shame on you. Shame on you. Okay, I'm done. Ah, thank you so much for sharing your story. I'm just happy that it's a happy ending, okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome, honey. Okay, now we're gonna take who do we have? We have Kididi Meti Gambu. Hi, Kididi Meti. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Udidi Meti, well, Udidi Meti. That's why I was swindled. Yeah. That's why they swindled you, Udidi Meti. That's your problem. Yeah, nothing. How are you doing, honey? I'm also good. Yeah, my story is very long. Eh? Yo, and we only have 15 minutes left, ne? I hope it won't be longer than 15 minutes. I'll cut it short. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I met this guy, ne? It was in 2009. Uh, we were still in school, like, hey, that was good that time. We were lovey dovey, jolly, like, like we learned each other, uh, take care of each other, like, you know, mm, come 2020, 2012, we had our first born. Mm. Uh, his family came to my house and say, no, we're not going to pay damage, we will uh, come for the ball. Oh, okay, no, it's fine. Yeah, now everything went well, then the child turned to, remember, it's only me who's working, ne? Ever since I met the guy, we were in school, and I found a job, and he was not working. Yeah, and then uh, the, car, the, the child turned two years. The guy's still not working, and so, uh, you know,
Avenge you with their in Bluefinden and the, the, the parents' houses in Harrison. So, yeah, they say, no, leave her here. And, and you come and visit her, or she will come and visit you sometime. I'm like, oh, okay, no, it's fine. As long as she is fine. Like, she, the child was like, she lost weight. She was not fine at all. But immediately she got there. Believe me, when I tell you, when she got here, she was so fat. I didn't even recognize her. Mm. And I saw her, like, for three months when she was there. Mm. Okay, no, it's fine. I left her there. And then 2015, yeah? Uh, uh, they came from the world. And mind you, in that 2015, just after the child went there, the father, we were like, now casual. And then the whole 2015, he never came back to me. He was at his house, like, for sure, we only communicated two months in that 2015. And then that was all. Come 2016, in 2016, they send a letter to my parents to say they are, they are marrying me, going to pay logo. Okay, fine. And then it, my mother tell me, like, hey, uh, the father of the church is paying logo for me. Do you know that we, we, don't, we don't know when last did I speak to that guy? My sister, your volume is very, very low. Like, I really have to, like, super focus when, I'm, when I have to listen to you. Okay. And you can take it up a bit. Yes, you may proceed. Yeah, and then my mother tells me, oh, they, they are coming to pay the dollar for you. Do you know about that? I'm like, no, I don't know anything about that. Let me ask this guy what's going on because it's been so long since I speak to him. He's like, oh, oh. she's like, okay, no, talk to him and then come back to me. Like, okay, yeah. And then I speak to the, to, the, to the guy because when he left to his house, I told him I'm not going to stay with him. Me and him, we are not married yet, so I'm not going to stay with him. I said, okay, no, no problem. And then he left to his parents' house since, like, for a whole year. And then we never, we lost contact. I only called to ask how's the child, you see, was born. So now, <clears throat> the, I ask him, why why are you sending the letter to my parents telling them that you pay no dollar for me but you never speak to me? He, he's asking me, is it not what you wanted? I'm like, yeah, I wanted that, but not like that. You should have asked me first. Do I still want it? Because it's been like 12 months since me and you speak, so now you come with your dollar thing. What is that? You know, I, the guy... <laughs> And I, I dropped the phone and I told my mother, no, I'm not going, I'm not getting married to this guy because it's been so long since I speak to this guy. I don't know what is going on. Or are they marrying me or they're marrying my child? I don't know. So, yeah, <clears throat> my mother started telling me, you know me, I never had a husband and I raised you because we are three. It's my brother, me, and my little sister. I raised you alone. So you have the opportunity well, to be with, 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 with the father. So now you are rejecting it. I'm like, you don't even know the whole story. I've, I've, I've not been with this guy for the whole year. So now he comes with his level. I Yes, I wanted to marry him then when we were still in contact. But now we are not. So why must I marry him? Uh, no, uh -uh. it's like you're ungrateful. I, I'm not going to accept this. You're going to marry this. I'm like, okay, no, it's fine. I'll continue with the Lobola negotiations because I wanted to satisfy her because it was like emotionally like maybe me. So I just went on with that Lobola negotiation. It went on like these people paid the whole price. No? Mm. Mind you, but the, the guy is not working. Like that year, that's when the father, um, that's when the father got his uh, pension, whatever. Like he was retired, he was retiring from his work. Um, okay, yeah. So then they paid the whole, the whole fee of Lobola that my, my parents asked for. And then after that, yeah, uh, then comes the wedding.
Hey, Banna. Come 2016, like that December. So, the Lagola is paid, so I'm actually there, I'm going to, so I had to go there. And then I went there in December, it was December, the way I was working, we were closing around the 20th, so I went there. That day it was on Christmas, we came like busy baking cakes and everything. I'm like, okay. Maybe it's that's way that's how they do it in Christmas. They're baking cakes and cooking, whatever. Tanya, shut up. Yes, you can Take continue, my sister. Yeah. So yeah, everybody's going to church and they're taking those those cakes and everything to church. So now it's only him and me who left in the house and everybody went to church. So now the the, the elder sister is calling us. Guys, where are you? Like, okay, we are still here, guys, but we are coming to church. <laughs> like, it's like the church is waiting for us now. Hmm? No, we went to church. Like, we went this long. I'm asking, what time is the church starting? It's 11 o'clock. And it's about half past 11 now. Okay, we, we get to church. When you get to church, like, all youth are outside. Hmm? Okay. And they, they, they made two lines. It's a male this side, female this side, two by two, you see. So, <coughs> me, it's not my church. So, I went inside. He stayed outside. It's his church. He stayed inside. And then I went inside. There comes the pastor's wife. No, you also must go outside. I'm like, mm, okay, let me go. I went there outside. Usually in our church, you know, the Bazaroni church, was, mm. they will announce that, oh, no, if you see these two people, you must know that they are getting married, so we don't have to cut them off from church because they are, you see, yeah. So now, I, I, I was not thinking that. I was not thinking that. I was thinking maybe it's, it's like a sketch or Christmas sketch or something. I don't know. Two, two going inside. Two, two, two going inside. Two. And then after, then people, when they go inside, they, uh, they, 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 they sit down in church. And we are the last person. We are the last people you now on that queue. My sister, can I can I just cut you there because we only have six minutes left, ne? So you're going to really have to cut to the most important parts of the of the story, Avan. Okay. Yes, because we have to wrap up. All right. Yeah. And then um, that's when we were introduced in front of the church, and usually in front of the church you have. Your parents and your, your spouse parents used to be there, but mine was not there. It was only his. I was also surprised what's going on here. Okay, no, it's fine. Ah, 2017, 16 December, we got married. Ah, you know, ever since 2016, 2017 December, we got married. Our marriage has been like temporary. Six months, I see him after six months. I see him after four months. What do you mean? Are you guys not staying in the same place? And when are you are staying, oh, you guys are not staying together, ne? Yeah, I remember when I was staying in the flat, and then he said to me, no, I can't stay in the flat, we must get a house. So I bought a house, like a bond house. Ne? So you are the one who bought the house? Yes, because I'm the one who's working. Oh, the guy is not so working. He's not, he never was ever since I, I met him. Okay. So,
everything. Like I said, I owe now hundred thousand of credit cards that I took on him, and the the, the response that I get now, no, the response that I get is me. I don't I don't I don't care about them. I I only follow them with money. That's all that I know. That's the that's the thing that hurts me more. Like I only follow them with money. I don't care about them. If it look like mind you, in 2019 we had our second bond, and even that second bond, it's there at his at his parents' house because I don't know are they typical Zulus or what is their problem because they are not staying at other people's houses. Mind you, I am not staying with my children now and. <clears throat> They are there, and now instead of me, I, 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 when, look when I when I give them money, I'm saying I'm taking care of my children because they are there. I only visit them uh, 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 like every month or sometimes every after uh, every after two 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 months. You see, so yeah. So now I'm tired, my sister. I, I, I got a new job now in Pretoria. I left Bloomington, I got a new job in Pretoria. So now it's like, it's like I'm leaving him because I got a better job. You understand? Yo. So it's me who's on the bad side. So what's the plan now, my sister, regarding your whole situation and your kids and, 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 and this guy and you having to move and leave your kids behind? What is the next, what, like, what is the conclusion, like your plan? Somebody's grandmother is here. I've planned that I, I'm, I'm gonna leave this guy. I'm gonna leave this guy and <clears throat> move on with my life and take my kids because now they are they are grown. They are grown. They are grown, eh? I, this this little one, she, yeah, this little one, she is not like the the big one, like crying too much. No, she's not like that. Okay. So, I'm going to take my kids to this guy and live my life. Hey, my sister, thank you so much. Ne. Um, I wish you all the best in everything. I wish you all the best. I wish you that you can um, take your kids and just live a peaceful life. Ne. I don't know. That's what I'm going to do now. Yes, I wish you all the best, my sister. We... The content is here. Visit my YouTube channel if you want tips on anything regarding you just standing on your own feet and empowering yourself and just taking care of yourself. All the content of anything that you need is definitely there and you are definitely going to come out strong out of this. Okay? I thank you very much. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you so, so much. Um, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Kedidime to go, ne? But because we have one person who is left here, hi, um, hi, Miss L. Hi, Madam Speaker. How are you? Yeah. You are the. You, I'm not gonna let any anybody else in now, ne. But unfortunately, because you, okay, not. I don't know whether it's unfortunate or fortunate because you are already here. I can't just say we are ending the live without you speaking, ne. So please, my sister, please, please, my my sister, please. I'm asking you nicely, oh. I'm asking you nicely in the name of the Lord. <laughs> please please share know, share a story with us that we can just wrap up we need a wrap up story okay yeah okay no, i was swinged out i met somebody february last year mm -hmm. he said he's working for some company center he's a ca mm -hmm. and then i have a place a job work so he came to visit he started staying with me so the family always asked for money and he was saying just give me money i'll give you back and you spent, like uh, the first lady was saying, the guy would always sleep for the whole day. He did that, he lied that he had a car, he didn't have a car. So he's not even a CA? He's a CA, but I think he's blacklisted in the market because he cannot go back to corporate. Oh, he's trying to go back. So, yeah, no, he cannot go back. So he, 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 need, he needs a, a, step, a stepping ladder, he needs a stepping stone. Ah. Yeah. Wait, so I have backup. I think it's when this woman, he moves from one woman to one woman. So immediately when you start to pick up that he's using you and you start to question about his work, you get angry. It's a nicest 
and then he will just move mm-hmm. to to another woman like what he did because Kobone, Kabo, October, Kabarino, Babata, forty thousand, also having a person, forty thousand. Then I asked them for how. The forty thousand, the common to get to have a Then we started fighting, and then other the relationship went sour from 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 my side to leave the family. So he tried to prove a point. He got a bishop to do some some documents for some two guys. Mm-hmm. So they paid him twenty thousand. He took all the twenty thousand to pay for for pay. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, I can see that he's been claiming to have a span for twenty years. He's been claiming, claiming to. He has a son who's twenty years old, and also he took find out. Uh, the sign has so high. Okobali, a woman, the baby was two months. He doesn't mm. have a child in his life. So we, he likes claiming a luxurious life. And one thing that I see that he's now busy with women on TikTok. That's why I have been seeing lives. And like, this is my first time attending your life. I was like, women just must just be aware because he would tell you that I have a house in Den Friend. So, ladies, I hope you are listening. If you meet a guy who's a CA who says there's a house in where? Then, then. I don't even know how to pronounce that. In four ways, in four ways. Yeah, if you if you meet a guy here who's a CA who says there's a house in four ways, just know it's a swindler. Ne? A sister's keeper is here telling us that. We be, be, be on the lookout right here on TikTok. Which is the BMW is no longer on road with it. Or he drives a BMW which is no longer road worthy. I you, Mama, but you've never, since I met me, him, he, he's been talking about the BMW, but um, at the time when I saw with him, he moved Mama Taba for how long? Wow. He will tell you that he's working for IBM. I'm not going to take out his name. Eh? Sure, don't, don't take out his he's name. He's working for IBM. He he's working for IBM. Uh, I forgot the name. I forgot the name of the street. He'll tell you that he's a senior manager. Wow. He's based in so way too. Oh, and it's a foreign house, so we will try to take you there, and they will love you because they want to. Oh, so I, they're in this thing together, this family. Give my yeah. men the whole family. They they, yeah. they are swindling so girls. They it's a family be. business. This swindler yeah, thing. Yeah, no, it's a great thing. You see, there's a person who got the address right there. Aringi. Uh, 90 Grace, Grace Street. My sister, when I want 90, Palisa, please come through. Palisa, please request to join. We want to hear your story, Palisa. Or you don't know, you don't know him. You just know the the, the address. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Hey, Mrs. Nam says he, she knows the guy. Please request. We want to hear you tell us your, what you know. <laughs> Seems like everybody here knows. Every, everybody here knows your swindler boyfriend, my sister. Hey, man. My sister, he this is the last he will tell you things that you will you will fall for them. I fall for so many things. There was a time he took me to Devon. Honestly speaking, I, I can't believe the fact you are you are mentioning a guy, you are calling out a guy, and people know him without you saying his name. This is scary. Yeah. That means he's busy on yeah. these TikTok streets. Yeah, so surely some have met him. 
met them or they know him personally, it's, it's, it's worse. It is worse. Mm. Yeah, it is worse. But I just guess, just be aware. Because uh, especially when I think he's targeting most single women, single parents. Mm. The ex also is a single mother. Mm. Yeah. Yo, Aisha, this is hectic stuff. But I really appreciate you warning us ladies here about this guy because obviously this guy is uh, is out here for blood. He's out here for our blood. Or if you can just see Union, petty KFC to okay, there's money there. When he sees Union with the what what is like, okay, the potential money. And worst of all, you know, this thing of attending space on uh, on Twitter that like single people for mingling. Mm. And I think he just picked me up, and I was not even having conversation. I was just attending, listening. Mm. Then he started inboxing me, DMing me. Then he was very sweet. Mm. But guys, you know, I had the worst experience for the past Kukubia Ninka two, for the past eight months of my life. It was crazy. Because the moon is a little bit Mm. So, I am going i they don't want to come in to share. Mara, the way people are commenting here, they definitely know the guy. Yo, I go yeah. rap. So guys, just be on the look, guys. I know we all want love, we all want happiness, but you cannot allow somebody to just... Hey, but somebody's grandmother, guys. Yo. And, and, yo, it, it was bad. It was bad. I started to lose weight. I ended up being on anxiety medication. Mm. So, I... He's not good in bed. Somebody asked me. He's busy. <laughs> he, he, he's Yo, he's bad. matapa tapa in bed. Mara, he, he's busy trying to be a swindler. Yeah, swindlers are supposed to be good in bed. That's prerequisite number one. Number two, they must be good looking. What kind of swindler is he? You know, when you were working and you have a medical age, you still keep the card, eh? Yes. I don't know. Go to the doctor. He was still for the whole day. He rather than that day, he Mm. So this other time he got a little bit of amount, I don't know from where, because he told people that he's going to Dublin for six months, he mm. went to Dublin for six days, but people knew him being in Dublin from March last year till in August, so what he does when he had more in the house, his phone was always on a flight mode, his phone, he could stay with it off phone for four months, he doesn't have a problem. For somebody to Guys, you switch off your phone for four months. Ah, uh, you can't switch off your phone for four months. Yeah. For a CA, an entire CA. Ivo. Mm. Oh, so, thank you so much, my sister. Well, I think for me, he took advantage of me because I'm not somebody from Joburg. So. Oh I'm yeah, obviously, he doesn't. He doesn't want people who are smart like him from the from the from Joburg. Yeah. The time I started to investigate is when it's finally two months. And then I don't know how I got it 15. Got it 15. It came with the second. Every time we do, I need petrol. Mm. Avare. Okay, guys, we're gonna have to end this live now. Right? At our house. There's somebody who's com who commented that he was at our house. I don't know that. Mm. So I don't know. Pay a guy again. I pay roller chin chin. I was like, hey, what time do you? I work in the corporate. Yes. Yes. If people travel, I deal with people who travel a lot and out of out of international trips. Mm. You must get 
Hey, this story sounds familiar. It sounds like the Danun story. Yeah, my my uh, my my manager said I can sleep in like for six days. Why do you take the least money that you got and fly to Dublin? You just want to prove a bunch of people that you got money. Why mm. do you don't have money? When you don't have it. I'd rather prioritize. But I want to say the more we are going to you having only in a linear for room was a heavy back room. Because no one My sister, I have to love you and leave you. You see now. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your story. I think it's gonna awaken a lot of people because already I see some ladies are charmed here by this boyfriend of yours in the DMs because they even know him and, and where he stays. They know all the stories you are sharing here. They they are familiar with your stories, you know. Yeah. Mm, people are familiar no man uh you see you see all these things that are flying here the load sharing hit i'm sure you saw the blackout that we had at nine o'clock on the dot so yeah i have to love you and leave you guys until we meet on the next one we probably we will see if if, if we're gonna have to have a part two of the swindler story telling then we can have that otherwise we will see next week or what do we do but thank you so much for joining in i appreciate every single one of you guys who are here um i have to love you and leave you Okay, thank you so much, my love. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, now we come this side. Um, guys, thank you so much for joining in. Thank you so much for commenting and just being here. If you you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that. Um, also, please do comment on what else you would like us to talk about. If you would like a part two of the Swindler story, you're more than welcome to just you know mention down there because now obviously we will need just people. A number of people who are going to be because we don't want to repeat the same stories over and over again but this we still have a lot of people this side who have not even come through to tell their stories more than 10 people so yeah maybe we should do a part two of this but we'll talk all about it uh some other time right now guys i, I just want to go you see all these things what do you call these hi they're flying all over here because it's raining load shedding has hit so they are here for the ring light